Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Curtis, your Autel Diagnostic Consultant. Today I got something really special for you. We're going to go over the top 10 most common questions I receive when consulting my clients on a weekly basis. So we're going to cover things from programming to which tool is better, the Maxisys Pro or the Maxisys Elite, to what happens if I die. I'm not able to give you the support. Um, we're going to jump right into it. Let's start with question number one. So. One of my clients told me, can this tool clear crash data? Now, the answer to this question is yes, it can clear crash data. I've seen our tool do this on a number of vehicles, but the thing that you guys have to consider is just because it can do it on one particular uh, vehicle doesn't mean you can do it for everything. So it's, it's vehicle specific, but generally speaking, yes, our tool can do that. Question number two. Does this tool come with a troubleshooting feature? The answer to this question is yes, but it's very, very weak. I must give the, uh, the compliments to Snap-on as they really nailed the troubleshooting feature down. We have this feature on certain vehicles, but it's to be honest with you guys, it's not that strong. You would need to subscribe to a third-party software like Mitchell On Demand that will give you the step-by-step how-to uh, procedure. All right. What I can tell you is this, we do have different ways of finding the problem and one of the ways you can do is with active tests where you can go into a specific module and test that electrical component. So let's just say if it's the uh, windows, if you want to see if the windows are going up and down, you can do that. Just have a press a button to validate the windows are going down. And then there's even a help feature where when you click it, it'll give you some troubleshooting ideas on where to go. So. To answer your question, it's very, very weak. You guys would need a third-party software like Mitchell On Demand to supplement this uh, deficiency on the Maxisys. Question number three. I know the Maxisys Pro or the Elite has the J2534, but will I need a laptop to execute the programming? That's a very, very good question. A lot of people have a misconception on this, all right? On our device, you can do programming on BMW and Mercedes from our tablet directly. You just plug it in, click programming, it'll go on our servers, and then you'll be able to see all the ECU modules that are able for you to reprogram. Now, let's say if you're gonna program a Ford transmission control module, that's a four step process. The first step is to buy a subscription or a membership on Ford's technical info website, and there's a full directory on that. Step two, you need a Windows 7 laptop or PC to download their application to. This application is going to be used to do the programming and then lastly you use the J2534, plug it in the vehicle and then there's another connection that connects to the laptop. That's when you, that's how you would use the J2534 to do the programming on let's say 98% of the vehicles. All right. So make sure you have those three things. The membership, the Windows 7, a PC or laptop with the J2534 and most importantly a lot of you guys jump into this you need a battery maintainer so this is a special device that keeps the electrical the the current battery voltage in the vehicle stabilized because that thing drops you're gonna brick your ECU okay so hope that answer your question question number four will the J2534 work on the Maxisys Mini the code name is MS905 the answer is no, it will not work with the, the Maxisys Mini due to the fact that the hardware is different. If you buy one of our models, the MS908 is compatible with the J2534, all right? The Maxisys Mini is not compatible with it. Um, the MS906 BT or TS is also not compatible with it, all right? So if you ever want to upgrade, what I recommend you guys doing just save your money and buy the Maxisys Pro. It's going to be less uh, expensive um, in the long term because that, that J2534 is quite expensive alone. We're talking about maybe 800 US dollars. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> question number five. This is a good question. The price for your Maxisys Elite is 3600 bucks. But I see it advertised online at, at a cheaper price. Why is there such a price difference? This is an awesome question. 
So I'm going to break it down to you guys, okay? When you guys are doing your research, most of you guys will start on Google. 90% of those results are from Chinese authorized resellers, okay? So these guys are focused on selling and they get huge volumes of, you know, clients. So they're going to try to get the lowest price because it's a risk reward type of thing. You know, if you if they sell their tool for more expensive, then no one's gonna take that risk going over there. But if you have a very compelling price, then it's gonna be cheaper. Now, when you buy locally, the price is gonna be up due to the fact that they are bringing in the inventory that has expenses and stuff, and then the support you're gonna be able to get. Not saying that the overseas vendors doesn't give support, but it's a lot riskier. So let me give you an example. Let's just say that you are doing a programming procedure and your J2534 is acting up. So if you call Autel US, they're gonna ask for your serial number because all the tools that they import from Autel headquarters has a, there's a database of all those serial numbers that are in there. And if your serial number is not in their database, that means they're gonna advise you to take your tool back to China. Now that's risky. Number one, you never spoke with the Chinese uh, supplier. Number two, some of the shipping companies don't accept lithium batteries. And number three, their customs is very, very, very strict. So it's just gonna be a very risky business trying to go the cheaper route. You're, you're actually be, gonna be paying more. Question number six. My local dealer says if I don't buy from him, then I'm not getting a machine designed for the US. What's the, what's, the, what's the right answer? This is a very good question and I'm gonna eliminate all the BS right now, okay? He's lying to you, all right? He's lying to you. All the Altel tools come from one headquarters, all right? It's based in China, all right? If this was the case, why are you able to buy your tool from eBay or Amazon from a Chinese vendor? You know, if that, was, if that wasn't possible, Auto wouldn't be doing this to set you up for failure. You know, the, you, like I would get a lot of complaints if this was the case, you know? So to answer your question, if anybody tells you that, I don't care if it's a local authorized dealer, they're, they're talking crap, they're talking BS. You can purchase your tool from whoever you want. You just gotta make sure that the person and the seller that you are buying from is A, competent with the tool, and you know, maybe even ask for a couple references to see um, you know, how their client's ex experience was with that particular seller, okay? So it, it doesn't matter where you get the tool. Um, you just have to be careful on who you purchase online because there's no human element in it, okay? Question number seven. How do I know if the machine I'm looking to purchase is not a knockoff? There's a serial number and password embedded on each machine. When you register the tool, it will ask for, for you to input that information. And if it says not valid, that means you have a fake tool, okay? I can't validate where you're buying from. I only can tell you from where I get my tools, which I get my tools directly from Autel. So my clients won't have that, that uncertainty. So if I were you if, you, if you are choosing to make your purchase online, Maybe ask for references. Ask for references of people who they sold to. Talk to these people and just see what experience they had with that supplier. Question number eight. What's the difference between the Maxisys Pro and the Maxisys Elite? Very simple, guys. The Maxisys Pro came out maybe three, four years ago. And, you know, it comes with the J2534. You can do the programming. It has all the bells and whistles, okay? The Elite came out last February and Auto recognized that over time hardware gets obsolete. So they said let's design a tool from the ground up that will prepare the technician for the next you know, three to five years. So they built a better processor that will allow you to do the programming faster, your diagnostics faster. It has a better battery life capability even with an external docking station to recharge your tablet. And there's a couple other uh, cool features. So this is what I tell people. This is a mental exercise that I tell people. Just imagine you bought the Maxisys Pro, all right? You're waiting for it to get shipped. You're sleeping and if you wake up the next day 
And if you're not bothered that there's a better tool out there, then stick with the Maxisys Pro. It gets the job done, okay? But if you wake up the next day and you have a like a, a, a nerve that's itching that you could have had something that's better and you want to be able to have the latest tool, then get the Elite. It's not good to buy a tool when you have regret. You got to look at it as, as if you're getting married, basically. You want to make the right decision once and for all, okay? So that's the difference. It's just the hardware. The software is exactly the same. Question number nine. What happens if you decide to leave Autel after I purchased the tool from you? You guys have three layers of support. Let's just say, God forbid, if I die, all right? You can contact Autel US. They'll be able to consult you and handle your repairs, all right? If you can't get a hold of them, I can give you my engineer's direct email. Since I liaise with, with my engineer 90% of the time, um, you will have that direct connection so you'll get even more specified answers so this is the 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 gateway I'm gonna be the gateway for my clientele um, you have any questions or any problems I'm gonna be the, the first person of action if you can't get a hold of me for whatever whatever reason you can contact Autel US then you can contact uh, I can give you the email directly to my engineer so that way you 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 have the human element and you have those three layers of support so you should be perfectly covered question number 10 how do i make a purchase all you do you give me your email i'm going to send you a paypal pro for my invoice so for those of you who don't know about paypal 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 acts like an escrow company they protect the buyer and the seller and they'll keep you covered with protection over 180 days so let's just say if i send you a rock you can make a complaint, PayPal will freeze my account until that situation has been rectified. Um, and that's why in my invoice, you'll have the PayPal fee because that's what we're paying for. So yeah, I'll send you the PayPal invoice. It will stipulate everything that you're gonna be receiving. And then after payment has been authorized, it'll take about three days for Autel to process your order. Based on your location, we have warehouses California, Chicago, and then if it's an international client, it'll be shipped from Autel, uh, China. And then it'll take about roughly five to seven days uh, to get to your door via UPS. And when you get your tool, call me up. I'll give you the full walkthrough to give you a quick start on how to operate the tool. Okay, everybody, this concludes our Q&A session. This is what I want you to do. Subscribe to my channel to educate yourself further by watching my other videos. And then after you've been educated, call me up for a one-on-one -on -one consultation so I can help determine which tool is right for your needs. You can get my number right here, and there's my information down below. I look forward to hearing from you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.